Hello guys, Nato Acer once again. And this is going to be another, let's just say, a real talk. Well, to some extent, a bit of bi serious business on the internet. I know you shouldn't take the internet seriously. But basically what I'm trying to say here is it's going to be a response to Big L update, aka Big L 2K6, a, a person that I follow on YouTube because it's funny, on Mark Plyer. And also, once again, Alpha Magazine on Pew Pew Die. Alright, so you know what I mentioned? Two names that I've never said before. Well, one does, but I never said, but the first time you heard me again said the name Mark Plyer and Pew Pew Die. And for people who actually followed me before, I did a controversy V block on Pew Pew Die on basically. On him disabling comments on YouTube and call him out on it. And of course, if you know the story, people didn't like it. I did some follow up just trying to explain that even so, I'm going to stick with that opinion. It is, I'm sorry to say, it's a one on one on any internet. When you're in a place, when you have to have that, you there is an option for a comment and you disable it, you know you're going to be a cop for doing it. And I already gave my reason about it. The gist of it is, you're not, you're basically not allowing that person to fight back or for whatsoever reason. Granted, there's always going to be trolls and spam, but you should ignore them. Then block, then trying to block or disable comments because of some troll, so because of some bad apple. You're also mixing with the good apples. That's what I'm trying to say. People didn't really like that. They say, "How dare you?" Again, sorry. Don't take it personal. It's the internet. That's what I think about Pew Pew Die on the same comments on YouTube. All right. And then for the recap, the reason why I mentioned these two people, Mark Plyer and Pew Pew Die. Okay, for people who don't know who they are, they're basically famous Let's Player, but at the same time they do basically they're mostly to entertain guy to entertain the viewers. Basically, the way they do it is they play the game. But and then they make funny noises, funny comments, eh, to some extent, nothing personal, to make an ass of themselves. That's basically what they do. That's what they're known for. And for people you buy, it, believe it or not, is the number one as of right now. He is the number one YouTube popularity. He's number one in the list. He has the most subscriber, most viewers, and recently. Made, there's an article on apparently PP Die make seven million dollars in the year 2014, and of course some people are mad about it, and I'll explain that later. And another one is Mark Player, another let's play, sort of another, sort of a another version of PP Die. He does the same thing also, making ass of himself while playing game for your entertainment. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. Again, sometimes comedy is a good thing. For me personally. I'm not a fan of their work, but at the same time, I don't have a problem with them. I'm just not a fan of it. It's just I can't stand those two. I can't stand the way they do their let's play, but that's in a different level than knowing them as a person. So, for that one, let me explain that one. And this is what a lot of people are basically are wondering. First of all, <coughs> excuse me. First of all, let me talk about Mark Plyer, and this is going to be a response to Big Al. Um, he did a video basically saying that how can people hit Mark Plyer after what he did? He did he did a lot of charity work. He's a kind person. He's cool with his fans, etc., etc. And why do people hate him to some extent? Okay, first of all, here's the thing. <sighs> there's a lot of reasons. First of all, there's two types of an opinion on any person, and that goes with anyone too. There's two. I, mean, I, I always say that you know that every time I talk about, well, let's just say uh, Colin Moriarty of kind of funny games. I don't like the guy in a professional level, but I can't really say anything about him on a personal level. So do you hear? You always hear me say that two word: professional level slash business level personal level. Alright, so I'll make it easy for you. Professional level slash business level equals to what they do 
and in personal level is as a person. There you go. So what does uh, what does Carl Moriarty does in IGN? I don't like it. He pissed me off. And of course, if you remember the infamous Mass Effect 3 and controversy ending, how he basically called everyone an idiot for basically questioning the ending. That basically was the icing on the king that really pissed me off. That's what he does. That's what he does in IGN. And that's a business, in a business level. As a person, or should I say, in a personal level, I can't say if the guy is nice or not, because I never met the guy in real life. What I see him on the internet, it's only what I know, and most of the time, what I what Colin Murray does in the internet, it could be personal also, but to some extent, it's a business. He represents kind of funny games, so that's what I meant. So there's two type of what you think of the person. So let's try to do that with Mark Plyer. Most people hate what he does on YouTube because it's annoying as heck. It's not really that entertaining for some, and I, for me personally, I don't really see the. La- the laugh factor. It's a big diarrhea. Yeah, I mean, I did try one watch one of his video, and I really can't get into it. So what he does, I don't like it. I did like it to some extent. I hate it. It's just so horrible, and I'm seeing that on YouTube. And again, the solution is ignore it, and that's what I'm doing. I'm not acknowledging Mark Plyer. I'm not some more. I'm not supporting Mark Plyer. I don't care for the guy. I don't care what he does. And if he gets a strike on YouTube, I'm sorry to say, I'm not gonna care. Excuse me. <laughs> that is my opinion on him of what he does on YouTube, on his Let's Play, on his <laughs> diarrhea show. But, as a person, I can't really tell you. I can't tell anyone. I never met the guy. I never talked to the guy. But, what he does behind the scene, it's cool. I heard he does charity. Great. So, again, as a person, that's awesome. He helps someone. So, technically, it's just because someone hates what he does, it doesn't mean they hate him personally. That people can have to understand, you have to separate that two things. You can hate him, Mark, by what he does on YouTube as a business level versus what you think of him as in a personal level or as a person. If you met the guy in real life, then hey, by all means, share that. I know some people did say when they met him in real life, hey, guess what? He was a normal person. He was nice. Yeah, because he was behind the scene. He's just a guy. He's just a guy named Mark. Me on YouTube is Mark Plyer. It's the same situation when with WWE. In the ring, Brock Lesnar is just beast, he's the powerhouse, he can beat the crap out of you if you piss him off, but behind the curtain or behind the ring, or outside the ring, or just a normal person, he's just probably just Brock, and probably it's a nice guy if you ever met him. And probably if you ask him for an autograph, hey, you know, there you go, he'll be a nice guy. That's the thing two different things. So, again, Big Al, if people don't like Mark Plyer, they probably just don't like what he does on YouTube, including Megis X1. Yes, yeah, he's not a fan of him, and he thinks he's a crock of poop. That's in the business level, not in the personal level. What he, most people, basically, what he does on the internet, they just don't like it, because he's a crock of poop. What I think about him, I'm not a fan of him. I just think it's just not entertaining what he does. That's what people meant when they don't like him. As a person, the majority of people, unless you really met Mark Plyer in real life, people are probably not going to tell him what he's like. I can't tell you because I never met the guy in real life. If I do, I'll probably make a V-block about it. But the point is, you have to understand, is that not, like, what he do on YouTube, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't necessarily reflect what they are in real life. To some extent, uh, you know, like, does Maggie Sex One is Maggie Sex One outside the box? Well, it could be, could not be. And again, like, oh, another one, and this is gonna, I'm probably gonna get basically in trouble for talking about this person, but you know what? What, you know, same deal here. Spax 3, yes, you know, the infamous person on YouTube in 2008 with people, a lot of people hated him because of quote unquote drama. But what he does in the internet, 
basically that's different from real life. Well, like for again, you know, not the person of Big Al. Big Al met him in real life, and it's sadly to say, he has a right to give you his opinion because there was that controversy in 2012 that he tried to be his friend, but then something happened in Ohio Con or Yoma Con, I think. It was a November convention. I think it was Yoma Con 2012. Correct me if I'm wrong, Big Al. They were in a talk, and suddenly someone got pissed at something, and Phil break out. Then you can tell him in a professional level that he can say also in a personal level, yeah, guy, I guess, was a jerk. Have I ever met the guy in the personal level for specs? Not so much, but I have, like I said, talked to him once in a while, and for me, making a conversation with him is kind of different what he does on basically his videos. Again, yeah, those are stupid videos, and he learned from that, but when I was basically doing comments, like comments on him back and forth, nice guy. I had no animosity with him, and vice versa. <laughs> I don't consider him, I can't really consider him the guy's a friend, but as a person, or as well I met, talked to him in the internet, okay, we're cool, that's it. So, again, two different levels. Business, personal, or semi-personal in my case. So, that's why. So, again, if people think, oh, man, why do people hate Mark Ply after he does with charity? Well, no, that's great. Commendable for what Mark Ply did on charity work. That's awesome. I think that's he's a hero. But what he does outside of YouTube is different from what he does on YouTube. People have multiple opinion on someone. So for me, what he does on YouTube, I think it's stupid, but what he does for charity or outside of YouTube, great, awesome. And same goes with Pew Pew Pie. So your PewDiePie or Pew Pew Die or whatever the Whatever his name is. So this one's going to be now also now in response to Alpha Omega Sin. He did a video about like, why do you people care if this guy makes a lot of money? And to answer that one, yeah, Alpha Omega Sin is right. Why do people do care? And my theory this one is the people who really make a big deal about this, or I'm sorry to say, nothing personal, that's just, this is a little bit of controversy, is people who are jealous at PewPewPie. And why you should be jealous? Well, I mean, you know, we're human beings. We're not perfect. Sometimes we have jealousy, greed, envy. That's always a deadly seven sin. And uh, the cliche of, oh my gosh, life's not fair. This sucks. How come this guy's making more money and he doesn't need to do anything? I work my butt off and I've, I don't make a lot of money. Again, the life not fair cliche thing, yes. Okay, here's the reason why to some extent. And again, I could be wrong. I read this in the article that that's what Alpha Omega Sin said. Yes, Pew Pew Die did sort of nothing. He was a piss poor person, wasn't making anything. You go, okay, well, that's like all of us to some extent. Hear me out. What I meant about that is the guy was known for believing. Again, I could be wrong, but I read this on an article. Let's just say, okay, his real name is Felix, something Swedish name, but we're just going to call him Felix. That's what Pew Pew Dye's real name. Felix was known as a college dropout. Yes. Me, I'm not a college dropout. I did finish college. But that's a different story. Felix was known as a college dropout from what I heard. He, like, he tried to go to college. Guess it wasn't for him, and he just dropped out. So for a while, he was just doing some minimum wage work in Sweden. Again, I don't know his biography, but this is what I read in the internet. Until he discovered YouTube. So the first thing he did, he tried to do was do Let's Play and make it funny. Something different. Because normally Let's Plays are basically just do commentary. So he does something different. Thinking outside the box and make an ass of himself while doing Let's Play. And people liked it. There you go. So yeah, I mean... <coughs> That's why some people, they probably say, that's not life fair. I'm a college graduate. I'm not making a lot of money. This guy's making a lot more money, and it's a drop up. What the heck? Well, to tell you the truth is, if people are basically making a lot of money, all I can say is he's probably doing something right or smart. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, we know. God drop out smart. Whatever. Move on. He's doing something right, let's just say, that's making money. He's getting sponsored. People are entertained. So, you can't blame him for that. You know, look at Fred. He was doing something that's entertaining that most people like. And, yep, he's an annoying little person. Well, now he doesn't even do Fred anymore. He retired it, but at the time, he was the same thing. People, I don't understand how come this guy is popular. Because he's doing something right. And can you really damn him for that? And the answer is no. Say good to people, you die. I mean, technically, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it would basically we make a big deal. It is just, I'm sorry to say, it is just jealousy in a part. It's not affecting you. He's not taking away money from you. Well, if you technically say, well, you're taking away my YouTube, my YouTube viewer. No, that, that that doesn't really work. I don't know. Technically, maybe, but to tell you the truth is, I don't know. That doesn't work really. But he's doing something right in his life, and there you go. And yet, the same goes. He does charity work. He does give money to charity again. Same game with Mark Plyer. Two level of opinion. What he does on YouTube at a business level, professional level business level, or what he does, I'm not a fan of. I think it's really stupid. I can't, I try watching it, and it's like, oh, it's not for me. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ignore the guy. I'm not gonna acknowledge the guy. I'm not gonna support the guy. But as a, as a person, again, I can't tell you, no matter what, I can't tell you what I think of Felix, because I never met the guy in real life. Heck, I never even talked to him on chat, or on the internet. Because from what I heard, he... Again, correct me if I'm wrong, he hardly interacts with his fans or something because a lot of people basically has too many fans and he just can't keep up, whatever. Again, I never met the guy in real life, I never had an interaction with the guy, so I really can't tell you. I like Spacks, I did have multiple interactions with the guy on the internet, talk to him by comments, and you get some information there. But like I said, for PewDiePie, as a person, I never met the guy, so I don't know. Right now, I can tell, like Alpha Omega said, that if he does charity work and he gives money to the charity, hey, more awesome. Again, commendable. You're a good person. But what he does on YouTube, I really don't like it. And that's the thing also with, I guess, some people with Mark argue with Mega Sex One. The thing is that Mega Sex One was getting a lot of basically attack because oh how can you not like Pew Pew Pie? How can you not like Mark Plyer? they you know they do something charity, you know, you should really show appreciation. No. He doesn't like what he does on YouTube. Not as a person. What they do in their real life and behind the curtains or behind their outside of YouTube is different than what they do in YouTube. What Mega Sex One's basically saying, he just doesn't like what they do on YouTube because it's not really in his opinion it's not benefiting the gaming community it's all about making an ass of himself while playing video game and if you like that hey you know more power to you that's it so same here like I said what I think of PewDiePie in the, on YouTube uh, as a business level I don't like what he does I think it's stupid but as a person I can't met the guy I never met the guy in real life I don't know so there you have it. So again, Big Al, Alpha Omega Sin, you know, those are my response. Again, Big Al, if people hate Mark Plyer, it's probably chances are on a business level or what he does on YouTube that they hate him. As a person, it's different. So you get two different opinion on that person. That's that's anyone. Anybody. Think of it as personal life, work life. There you go. And as for Alpha Omega Sin, yeah, I do agree with what he said. People really shouldn't really care about what Pew Pew Pie, how much Pew Pew Pie makes. You really, I mean, if, unless it's affecting you, he's taking money from you, he's taking away your customer or whatever. I don't even know if that, how's that even possible. Then, yeah. But if you're just hating him because of jealousy, because you done more to yourself than what he does, because, yes, again, like I said, the guy was... Again, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I read this in an article, the guy I heard was a college dropout. And then all of a sudden, he just does, does all, all he does was minimum wage, play video game, minimum wage, play video game. And then all of a sudden, he does something, and there you go. So, there you go. 
And no, I don't hate Markiplier or people die on a personal level. I don't hate them because I never met them in real life. So, but this is like in the business level, what I think of them, what they do on YouTube. What I just don't care what they do on YouTube. That's just my personal opinion. So, hope this helps. And if I did offend anyone, I think personal there. So, <laughs> thanks for listening.